Our second story has to do with a really successful Princeton grad. This is kind of going to put us to shame, although Jason wrote a book, so maybe it's all the same. So basically, a Lingo Champ is a company over in China uh, that teaches English to Chinese students. It's an online education business, and it's planning an IPO with a valuation of $2 billion. That's not too shabby. No, I love this story on a couple of different levels. The first level is there have been increasing numbers of IPOs of Chinese companies in the U.S. and also in the mainland. So it raises a question, um, you know, putting this particular company aside, it does raise a question of whether these IPOs are good investments for U.S. investors because they haven't always outperformed. Also, you know, the, for them to be raising money now, arguably at a time when defaults are picking up and at a record pace in China, raises some interesting questions. Put that aside. Also interesting is the emphasis on education in China mm -hmm. and just how much parents are willing to pay for education. Contrast that with the U.S. where there's a lot more of an expectation that you will get education free and people will not spend as much for it. It's sort of an interesting thing. You're shaking I'm your like, head. I'm like, you're talking about college? What? No. No, <laughs> not college, but I'm talking, well, okay, I'm not going to go there, but I'm just saying that people will spend, you talk about like tiger moms or all of those types of uh, stereotypes uh, in China, but the amount that people will pay for education is tremendous and this is really piggybacking on that.